okay hi guys so let's start this lecture with uh, discussing on the type of system or other types of systems oops types of system so we have first open system in which let's suppose we have a solution so this all three edges are real boundaries whereas there is no boundary on the top of the vessel so this is a imaginary boundary hence this system can actually exchange matter as well as energy with its surrounding so open system is nothing but a system that can exchange matter as well as energy with its surroundings And now let's say what is a closed system. So a closed system is a system that can exchange only energy with its surroundings. only energy with its surroundings okay and all boundaries are real in closed system unlike in open system wherein we have a imaginary boundary so all boundaries are real in closed system the example we have this closed system suppose we have some gas molecules here and let's say this is a diathermic wall okay so what is a diathermic wall a boundary across which heat transfer is possible so this is an example of closed system we can also have this as the closed system wherein we are putting some some pressure on the vessel okay and again heat can go either ways from in to out or from out to in third type of system is a isolated system which is a system which cannot exchange matter as well as energy with its surroundings system which cannot exchange matter as well as energy with its surroundings so in the in a in an isolated system uh, no matter and exchange transformation or rather no matter exchange and energy transformation takes place example of the same can be a closed vessel containing some gas molecules 
and the walls are adiabatic in nature adiabatic means no exchange in adiabatic no exchange in energy okay so this is the adiabatic wall which says that exchange in energy would be zero or q equals to zero next let us see state variables So this is a state or condition of a system which is described by certain measurable properties and these measurable properties are called state variables. So state or condition of system is described by certain measurable properties. and these measurable properties are called state variables okay so example of state variables can be temperature we can have pressure volume etc okay so let's discuss on the measurable properties of system so measurable properties of system can be classified into two categories which is measurable properties this can be classified into two categories one is extensive properties and second is intensive properties extensive properties and second one is intensive properties okay so we'll be discussing more on the extensive properties and intensive properties so first point is it depends on the size of sample depends on size of sample and intensive properties do not depend on size of sample next if a system is divided into two or more parts then those variables whose values change are called extensive properties so variables whose values change change are called extensive properties and uh, it changes when divided into when system gets divided into rather system is divided into two or more parts and these variables are those variables whose values remains constant so variable values no matter what is uh, means how the system is partitioned uh, or in how many parts the system is partitioned the value of these variables does not change so variable values remains constant okay so example of the same so ex example of extensive properties can be mass volume heat capacity internal energy we will be discussing more on internal energy in the coming lectures so even if you don't know about it no need to worry enthalpy 
gives energy and entropy which is g and entropy which is s okay an example of intensive properties can be there are so many density temperature we can have pressure as well a specific heat capacity then we can have specific volume which is nothing but volume per unit mass specific volume then we can have we can have molar heat internal energy which is internal energy per mole then we can have molar enthalpy then molar entropy we can have molarity normality molality ph of solution and we can also have emf of a cell okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we will be seeing more on basic concepts of thermodynamics so till then good luck and good bye